Reparations Now, available at reparationsnow.com and also on Tubi. We're moving to file number 132, third reading assembly bills, ACA 8. Clerk will read. Assembly Constitution will amendment 8 by Assembly Member Wilson and others in accolading the slavery. Assembly Member Wilson, you are recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Good afternoon, members. It is my absolute pleasure as the chair of the Legislative Black Caucus to bring forward this Constitutional Amendment 8. This um, amendment will remove the exception of involuntary servitude from our state constitution and declare all forms of slavery are prohibited, period. End of sentence. Today, slavery takes on the modern form of involuntary, involuntary servitude, including forced labor in prisons. Slavery is wrong in all forms, and California should be clear in denouncing that in our Constitution. California is among only 16 states with an exception clause for involuntary servitudes in a state constitution. Think about that. 16 states. We're supposed to be the leader. We are not the leader in this situation. Most recently, voters in Alabama, Oregon, Tennessee, and Vermont removed involuntary servitude language from their state constitutions. Incarcerated people have long faced cruel treatment for any work absences. This includes physical violence, solitary confinement, denial of phone calls and family visits, and limiting participation in self-help groups and disciplinary write-ups that result in longer prison terms. Such punishment or threats of such punishment are often issued even when absences are due to illness or injuries sustained through that very work. Forced labor gives work a bad name. Incarcerated people's relationship to work should not be one of exploitation and little to no agency, but it should be one where people feel like they can have a successful outcome where they feel good about their work. The current practice of forced labor does not prepare incarcerated people for success upon re-entry. The legacy of slavery and forced labor runs deep in California's history, in our history. From the exploitation of indigenous people in Spanish missions to black slaves forced to mine for gold, Today, we have the opportunity to take a step in the direction towards ending that legacy. Members, I urge a strong I vote on this ACA 8, as well as a strong I vote on a Black Caucus priority. Thank you so much. Assembly Member Weber, you are recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I rise today as a proud co-author of ACA 8. More than a century after the end of slavery, California's Constitution still has language that sanctions forced labor for incarcerated people. Just earlier this year, the California Reparations Task Force released their final report. And the report surveyed that the ongoing and compounding harms experienced by African Americans as a result of slavery and its lingering effects on American society today. And it included hundreds of recommendations how the state could work towards repairing those harms. And ACA 8 addresses that as well. It is appalling that we have to pass legislation, as heard earlier, so that incarcerated individuals can have their basic needs met, including access to menstrual products, showers, and communication with the outside world. And it is despicable that we see incarcerated individuals dying under the care and supervision of detention facilities due to lack of safety and wellness check. But committing a crime should not be a ticket to limitless exploitation of labor. Forced labor at pennies on the hour creates pervasive incentive for the state when potential profits are at stake. Yet we have relied on incarcerated individuals to fight fires on the front lines during some of the most catastrophic fires we've seen in the state. 
and they have produced our Medi-Cal eyeglasses during times when there are shortages and fiscal deficits throughout the healthcare system. While this firefighting and eyeglass production has been extremely significant during times of need, it can be done on a minimum wage. Without saving to turn um, once an individual is released, how can we expect incarcerated individuals to transition back into the real world? Every individual deserves dignity and respect of their work, regardless if they're behind bars. And for those reasons, I respectfully ask for your I vote on ACA 8. Thank you. Seeing no further discussion or debate, Assembly Member, would you like to close? Thank you. I appreciate my colleagues' comments in regard to this. I respectfully urge everyone to vote aye on ACA 8. Thank you so much. Clerk, open the roll. All those vote who desire to vote. All those vote who desire to vote. All those vote who desire to vote. Clerk will close the roll. I 60, no's 2. Resolution is adopted.